Aloha, Aloha Vikings. Vikings! In preparation for selecting your courses for the next school year, we are going to be going over the graduation requirements brochure to help you understand what credits you need to graduate. Let's review the State of Hawaii graduation requirements brochure. The table on the left of the brochure shows all the courses that must be done to graduate. In order to get a diploma in the State of Hawaii, you must have passed and earned 24 credits in your four years of high school. Let's break down the courses and what you need. The first part is English. Four total credits must be earned with specific credits in English Language Arts, or ELA 1, ELA 2, and have a credit in exp Expository Writing, which can be fulfilled by earning a credit in English 3 or 4, AP English Language, or Literature, or Early College English 100. Similarly to English, four total credits in History must be earned, with two credits in U.S. History and Government, and World History and Culture. You'll need half a credit courses, Modern History of Hawaii, and Participation in Democracy, which can be taken as semester classes. Lastly, you'll need one more credit in Social Studies Basic Elective. For math, you only need three credits, but it is highly recommended that you take four years of math if you plan on going to college. Minimally, you need a credit in Algebra 1, Geometry, and a Mathematics Basic Elective again. It's recommended that you take four years of math if you're interested in going to college. Science is next, and similarly to the math courses, you need three credits to graduate with a recommendation of four credits for college. Minimally, you need one credit in biology and two in science basic elective courses. Now that some of the core classes have been addressed, you have some other courses you need to fulfill for graduation, and these are considered electives. You need to have two credits in any of the following courses, World Language, Fine Arts, or Career and Technical Education, or CTE, or GRTC. To receive the credits in World Language, you must take the same language course like Hawaiian or Japanese in a sequence, for example, Hawaiian 1 and 2. However, for Fine Arts, you do not need to take it back to back, which includes Visual Arts and Performing Arts. You can mix and match your Fine Arts credits. For TTE classes, you have to take them in a sequence, similar to the World Language classes, Another way to fulfill this requirement is by taking two years of GROTC. Next is physical education, or PE. You must have one full credit of physical education, including physical education lifetime fitness, PEP 1005, and a specific basic elective like PEP 1010. Please refer to Hilo High School's registration guide when you receive your copy. You must also complete a half credit of health today and tomorrow which can usually be taken as a semester class along with a physical education class. An additional graduation requirement is the Personal Transition Plan, or PTP, which is not a class, but a .5 credit. Start working on it sooner rather than later. Lastly, you must get six elective credits. Elective classes allow you to have more choices in your schedule and what you want to do. Your electives don't need to be in your academy either, so have fun and choose classes that you want to try out or pursue. With all these courses, you should have a total of 24 credits, which is a required amount to graduate. Besides the main requirements to graduate, there are honors recognition certificates, which could possibly give you a cool cord at graduation. Let's go over the honors recognition certificate requirements. In addition to meeting the requirements for the Hawaii High School Diploma, the following must be met with a cumulative GPA of 3.0 or above for an honors recognition certificate in one or more of the following honors. To get an academic honors, you must have four credits of math, including one credit in Algebra 2 and a credit beyond Algebra 2 in courses such as a running start, Algebra 3, trigonometry, analytical geometry, free calculus, probability statistics, Introduction to College Mathematics, Calculus, AP Math Courses, IB Math Studies, IB or IB Math Standard Level. You also need four credits of Science. One credit must be in bio Biology 1 or equivalent IB or AP Biology courses. Academic Honors also require two credits minimum from AP, IB, Running Start courses, equivalent to credits for two colleges courses. Next is CTE Honors, in which you must complete a two-course sequence in an approved CTE program or program of study, earn a B or better in each course of the two-course sequence, and meet or exceed proficiency on the performance-based assessment for the corresponding program or program of study. 
Lastly is the STEM honors. STEM honors require four credits of math, which must include one credit for Algebra 2 and one credit beyond Algebra 2, which must be earned via the following courses or equivalent running start math courses. Algebra 3, Trigonometry, Analytical ge Geometry, Precalculus, Probability, Statistics, Introduction to College Mathematics, Calculus, AP Calculus, AP Computer Science, AP Computer Science Principles, IB Math Studies, or IB Math Standard Level. Four credits of science, one credit must be in Biology 1 or an equivalent IB Biology or AP Biology courses. STEM honors require the successful compilation of a STEM capstone project in one of the approval ACCN courses. If you qualify for any of these honors, you could possibly become a valedictorian if you have a 4.0. So work hard, Vikings! Before we go, there is the bottom section of the brochure. In order to participate in commencement or your graduation ceremony, you must meet the requirements for a diploma or certificate fulfill your financial obligations, and meet other conditions as established by the DOE, which meet the standards of clarity, reasonableness, and justifiability. If you speak another language other than English, you could qualify for the seal of biliteracy, which is awarded upon graduation to students who demonstrate high proficiency in both the state's two official languages, English and Hawaiian, or either of the state's two official languages, and at least one additional language, including American Sign Language. If you have any questions about the seal of biliteracy, Speak with your counselor or go to the website on the screen or on the brochure. Although these requirements look a bit daunting, through hard work and dedication, you will be able to walk the line and maybe even be Valic Victorian. Work, work hard, hard and, and good, good luck, luck Vikings! Vikings.